Hey, it's Dan Dawson, Tasting at Home today. It's a nice Saturday, cool morning in Napa, and I'm tasting a couple ones from Obsidian Wine Company, part of a three-part series. So um, in this tasting, I'm gonna have two wines that are in um, some national distribution. You can find them in selected fine wine shops and restaurants around the country. And we're going to start with the Syrah. So um, most of the information I'm going to leave for my website and then links to the winery. But the Obsidian Ridge Vineyard is at the northern end of the Maya Camas Mountain Range in Lake County, very close to Mount Kanoktai, high elevation, about half mile high. So it's the highest elevation vineyard in the uh, north, north coast California AVA. Um, planted to all red grapes and um, been around for quite a few years. Big fan of this winery, as many of you know. So this is the Syrah, about 200, no, I'm sorry, about 350 cases made. That Syrah aroma at first, new leather, black olive, oil cured black olive. Uh, a little smoky, not a lot smoky. The spice comes out more in the mouth, big impact of fruit. First blueberry, that kind of goes away to me, and then blackberry, nice juiciness to it, fine tannins all throughout. White pepper spice comes through, takes over from the black pepper. Little, um, little constricted, little wound up right now, which is a sign of a, you know, good quality young wine. The uh, Syrah is a 2019 vintage. Um, nice, long lasting, more savory flavors coming through. Uh, maybe some dried violets, little rosemary as well. Nice, big impact wine. This was opened about 24 hours ago when I first tried it and uh, pretty similar. This is um, opening up very slowly. Uh, this is real sleeper, I think, as far as a cellar wine. I bet you this is going to be good for many years to come. Now, the Obsidian Ridge Cabernet Sauvignon. This is their larger production wine that you can find around the country. Definitely in smaller amounts and you know, fine wine shops, restaurants with really good wine selections. And then, of course, at the winery. All right. Powerful Cabernet. Nice middle of acidity. All around that, a lot of fruit, a lot of soil, a lot of grip to it. Pleasurable right now. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, drink Cabernet, they like wines with some grip, with some power to it. This wine has it, um, which means its evolution is going to um, be great and it's going to continue to improve for the next uh, five to 10 years. That said, it's out there. A lot of it is gonna be drunk soon, and that's not a problem because the mulberries there, real dark plum, uh, nice sun-ripened berries as well. Uh, maybe a little bit of cedar, a little bit of toast as well. That's one thing about obsidian is that they're coopers as well. They have a uh, Cooperage in Hungary, where the family uh, originates from, two out of the three uh, founders and owners. And um, they do such a great job with the Hungarian barrels and having the oak be a complement to the wine, always kind of in the back supporting it, not overly strong. Um, outstanding Cabernet, really great value and uh, um, recommend it very highly. Again, look at my um, more thorough tasting notes at DawsonWineAdvisor.com. And I appreciate you watching, Dan Dawson. You take care.